Ah, uh, yes, it has been one year. Yes, it's actually officially been one year since I met Luna, this little menace of a cat who I love, but goddammit if she don't get on my nerves. And cats not interrupt me when I'm recording. I say as if she can actually understand me. <laughs> I'm more than willing to bet she understands me. She just, she just doesn't want to say it. Has anyone else watched Love, Death, and Robots? I'm telling you, that three robots episode is accurate. Neutral evils, that's what cats are. But uh, anyway, in front of me, I have Q-Force, season one, episode five, WeHo, Hi WeHo Confidential. <laughs> okay. Back to WeHo, Mary reconnects with an old friend, Pam tackles spy training, Stat gets intimate with an AI, and V tries to recover her missing memories. Wow, this is gonna be a very very loaded episode <laughs> especially that v part oh man i still remember that last part that threw me the fuck off but so last episode uh, pam had uh basically like kind of took control of this mission because her wife was kidnapped and they had to go get her from this place that had a that was just built over a giant hole seriously that there's no way that's up to code anyway but along the way stat uh also gave an ai sentience and now those two are friends yeah now we're back here huh if we're really gonna see i guess what's gonna happen out here i'm not really sure what to expect I, I, i'm gonna be honest <laughs> like this show's just like starting to really take some turns so i'm very interested to see just where this goes all right so here we go Aussie butts. Okay. Ah, walking out the therapy dogs. Hmm. Hey, everybody's just uh, returned to regular life. Uh, can we do another round? Oh, that's your fifth Bloody Mary. Bruh, Bloody Mary. How are you not drunk? It takes a lot. I was born with a crazy amount of red blood cells, but so I think my type is jello positive. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, no one's gonna. We come do. on. I'm a positive. Yeah, Steve's a bit of an early riser. Uh, yeah. You insisted we do this brunch at nine. Nine? Strangely enough, an old friend invited me to a party today. Should we go? Do you guys know Chaston Barkley? You're friends with a billionaire? Well, when uh, I first moved to WeHo, we were inseparable, but I haven't talked to him in. Wow, a decade? Really? See, I get that. I get that. I feel that. Are you sure about this party? You don't have to impress me. I mean, I've been unplugged my amazing community for too long. It's time to plug back in and show up for old friends, you know? Oh, there's I get... Oh, That's my job, daddy. Oh, damn. Swink just has every... Damn. Just having a union meeting over here. Drag queens have a union? You've lived in WeHo so long, and yet you know so little. IDP Local 69 reps drag You Local 69. Wait, wait, thinking about this now. Oh man. Thinking about episode three again and what in the world? The, get, get, what is. Get, put his entire dating life on hold for a job that never gave him an opportunity. Man, I can't help but feel bad for Mary more than anything. Jeez. <laughs> then again, I didn't really come out till I was in college. Didn't really figure myself out till college either, so. <sighs> Jeez, I feel like I missed out on a lot. You know, I'm not making this too much about me. Let's keep going. IDP Local 69 reps drag queens, singing telegrams, and weirdly, singing the guy in the firehouse who makes the chili. What? The secret ingredient is dignity. Uh huh. <laughs> Damn. Glossy. Wow, this is not what I expected. When I knew it was a pale temp with a carpeted sub Really? What's the name of this company? Honestly? Yeah. No, his company is called Honestly. With Honestly? Mark. With a question. Products that are unsustainable on my salary. Oh my god. Steve! Oh, man. Shastin, I barely recognize you. A lot of plastic surgery, I'm guessing? Oh, is it so rude, but can I uh, borrow you for a second? We have to catch up. Uh, at the carving station, the beef is naturally lean, just like Steve. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to punch you. This is the nicest house. Sorry, I cannot get over your glow up. Your skin is shimmering. Ugh, stop it. It's boring. Exercise, diet, plasma, for Who cares? You haven't changed a bit. What? I'm so glad you came, because I need a favor. Patrick, headphones up. You. I need your help. My assistant, Patrick, join this why do you have six designer. employees named Pat? In a poorly laid out great room, I don't think I can help. I mean, why me? Oh, simple. Because you're a spy. 
Uh, wait, whoa, how the fuck you know that? That's... That's you? Damn, what a glow up, shit. Honestly, respect, never mind, shit. You drunkenly told your best friend. And honestly, you know what, of course this would happen. You got screwed out of something you definitely deserved, earned, and earned, so... It's lonely for young gays like Patrick now, especially if what they really want to do is... Act. Thank God we never wanted that. Thank God. What's wrong with one? I mean, I don't want to act, but we don't have each other's backs. Who will? I don't trust that coming out of your mouth. What's the point of saving the world if I can't help out in my own backyard? Hi, Spider-Man. Um, V's trying to figure this out. Oh. I know Genovia was an eye-opening experience for all of us. It's always a lot for couples when one gets kidnapped and the other one gets them a spy. It's one of the most common reasons for divorce. I'm guessing you mean in the company? Communication! Hell yeah! Oh. Uh, uh... Sorry, V. Hams and child psychologists. If she just can't help but ask questions. Help me. You two are here You know, you probably could use that. Unless Pam can prove the agency can trust her, you're out. I mean... I'm sure she kept it one secret for a very long time, so... I too know what it's like to get up off shelf with your partner when it turns your life upside down. Are you talking about us? We're the person in that photo you're holding. Definitely the person. I feel like when people say stuff while they're holding a photo, it's usually about the photo. I know, right? Another gin and diatonic no eyes. Anthony? Crazy? Mom? Also, it's Anthony now. Like, does not appear on Uh-huh. I haven't seen you forever. Uh huh. Uh Still weird. Did your nana print on a Bing search at the prison library? How did you know my nana is a- Can you just please do your magic and get me Patrick number five's digital footprint? Uh, what are you watching? It's on the coast. It's a general I will never understand it is filled with Can't you just sound like Yes, but I want to see Oh man. Let's see. No quarter hour parking until half past beginning what? of permit parking. Permitted. What? What? I don't understand a word of what he just said. Jesus. Well, aren't you just a concerned little citizen? Uh, I'll add it to the pile, but no promises. Add it to the pile? Isn't. Patrick more important? Look, I want to help, but there's not a lot I can do when your community preys on itself. Probably just shacked up with some rich sugar daddy. But the evidence... <sighs> Detective Gosh... <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. That, that phrasing, that is so different when you're black and queer. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we just shacked up with some rich sugar daddy. But the evidence. Also, did you just kind as to that the state frazzled friend? Unbelievable! I'm just trying to do what's right. I'm a gay Samaritan. Oh, yeah. See you at Jeez. What? I read this. What the fuck? Yeah, the city makes them confusing on purpose. The yeah. Have better things to do than tow cars. Ta! That's a great question, Mary. Well, how am I supposed to get home? Just install WeHo's new scooter app, Scoot Loop. Gay people get their first mile free. Really? Uh, why does this app need my weight? That seems rude. Incredibly. What the fuck? My name is Toluca Lake. Patrick was my roommate. If you want to know what really happened to him... What in the Chinatown? <laughs> or more, more L.A. Confidential, actually. Thinking about it. <laughs> okay? I told them Patrick was the third boy in my class to go to a secret rave and never come back. A really? Rave. They didn't have those when I was younger. Or maybe I just wasn't invited. Well, maybe you shouldn't want to be there. When you're desperate, yeah. you'll do anything. Uh, oh. Oh my god, he's dead? No. What? He dead on minds. Oh. Oh. Find that party, and you find Patrick and the missing boys. All this darkness really? under the surface. Pam, remember, 
You can stop the test whenever you want, and we can walk out of here. Screw my job. You're sweet, but this looks fun. Oh, no, no, no. You, you had her drink something first? Damn, she got a real strong gut. How is she so sweet? <laughs> Rat in a maze, though, like... That's one hell of a partner you've got. Hell yeah. Promise me, you'll never take Karen for granted. I mean, Pam! Okay, somebody... You just said a lot of subtext today. Yeah! Alright, bring out the jumper cables. But, you know what? So this place is the home of the pastrami taco and where the actress who played Bambi overdosed on dancing pills. Her body was still dancing date off. Fucking traffic stuff. Is this better? You can Oh my god. Did you just watch dogs yes. the lights? Are you kidding me? I felt stronger. More myself. Thank you for that gift. Aww. Cupcake ATM? Cupcake ATM? Gosh. Heat scoop loops. Maybe I can do something. That's unusual. What? Has Wait, what now? Why would they need to control scooters? Thanks for agreeing to meet. Obviously, I love Benji. Also, you said I could order whatever I wanted and didn't have to pay. Uh huh. And I also have 30 letters in a to-go bag. So, the reason I emailed... Wait, do you like want to film me eating all this food? It's fine, but you should really throw me some money. No. I just you know about the Bay of Pigs party? They just had a location of yours before. I can let you know. That's a good adventure. Thanks. You're a good hey, who stole our doorknob? You stole the doorknob? Damn, my free trial expired. Uh, uh, here, you can use my account. Oh! Okay, didn't expect that. The only thing Meriwether's gonna be looking for now are his hands and feet. The final test. Would Pam take a bullet to keep your secrets? Oh, ooh, man, this animation, jeez. You passed. I love you, babe. I, I mean, on I some level, I understand, but also this is still Did kind of fucked v up. But well, I'm saying kind of, this is fucked up. Did you see V freeze up when she went for the gun? She's got to meet you in a dark restaurant. Hard to read. Well, you know me. Mm -hmm. I always bring the cheaters on a flashlight. Mary, I'm positive. <laughs> if that scoop was exploded, it's because the sheriff wanted it to. And it was under my name. The sheriff wants me done because I'm close to finding out about the missing boys. The agency, yeah. No? Why are we even doing this mission? We're the only ones who can help. Isn't that why you joined why not? the agency? We have to answer the Call of Duty, Buck. Uh, yeah. Answer the Call of Duty 15 minutes ago. I'm duty free, sister. Shouldn't have happening at the Bay of Pigs. Ooh, I went to that once when it was at the city dump. Honey, Wait, what? it looked like the set from Cats. And when I tell you, the girls were meowing. Our only invite is Bruh. now. It's Anthony's phone. The you still had his phone. And, and we need to this is perfect. Party, guys. And stuff ever done in the case. Yes. On the of they live in empty skull almost as much as my giant crew have to do. Well done, Pam. Oh, uh, uh, um, anyway. Why couldn't you reach for that thumb? Oh. The, ever since I left the field, I've been afraid to touch a weapon. That's to serve as common. But this is something more, like a mental block. I'm missing important memories, too. It's okay mm. to be forgetful. That's not it. Damn it. Mm. Agent Orvi of the princess asked about my old partner, Karen. But I have no memory of Karen. How could a partner just be erased? This is getting really heavy. And unlicensed. People carry stressful memories in their back. Ain't that the truth? At this point, I'll try anything. I'm ready. Walk on me, Pamela. Phrasing. Shut up! Ah, all the sparkly asses. It's bullshit Stat didn't have to come, but I did. Stat can't swim. She thinks swimming is fake. Guys, look. Those are real guys uh, okay. and real cops. They're with the sheriff. Uh... Hi, bitch! Do you know them? Mm-hmm. From being gay and small. <laughs> huh? Friend? Oh my god, it's... Who's being snatched? What the fuck? Also, this animation is smooth as hell, but whoa! I'm going in, right? In your dreams, thick man dyke. Fuck, initiate sausage distraction protocols. Damn, tweet! Works. <laughs> 
Uh, what? <laughs> I forgot next week. Later, like Batman and shit. Oh no, reality TV. Can you believe this, Twink? I know! I'd be such a better time portal guy. No, uh, we're international really, Twink? This must be the job Patrick number five book. Ah. Hey, you two are up next. Wait, what? Now? Let me show you around Neptune Base. You know what? I'm sorry. I can't build a character from nothing. Honestly? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly? No, 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 no. I am. These two bitches. I knew it. It was you exploiting the community. It's 2021. The one thing more precious than drugs, oil, or baby food? Content. Welcome to my streaming platform. I'm, I'm kind of glad I waited so long to watch this now. <laughs> Wait, what did you say about Quibi? Quibi sounded insane, but now it's the most successful company ever. It died. Yes, on every level. That is some old Hollywood evilness. No. Oh, you stole his. You brought his car to set, you fool. <laughs> oh, damn. Run his ass over. Hell yes. You can't at least encourage people to stop it. In some way. I don't think this is working. <gasps> oh! Damn. Oh. Okay, talk. Oh, shit! Riding shotgun with you. I remember. Let me try it. Ooh. That probably felt good as hell, though. Wait, wait, wait. Just forget our last mission with Karen. Should we get Karen entirely? Good. You motherfucker! Dirk, you Clorox motherfucker. Clorox. <laughs> I don't even understand that. Patrick. I fucking knew it. God damn. To Luca? What the? You know what your problem's always been, Stevie. You're too trusting. Thanks for all the boys. Oh, you mother... Honestly? Chaston tricked me. I never like trust him. This company doesn't do free samples. It's diabolical. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I've been trying to recruit me as a hacker for years. Maybe it's time I respond. Really? really? Hey, where's Mom? I mean, Mom. I mean, Deb. Steve debriefing her and Pam. Those two almost lost everything. I get, I get why he calls it that, but come on. Hmm. Poor, sweet, dumb Antony blown up by a scooter. What a freak accident. Yeah. Let's just hope there's me. It was just a crazy random accident. We can't learn anything from it other than if it's life is random and death even more random. Uh, ow. Oh. Doubt is but grain for the devil's millstone. Uh. Um, Because sometimes I want to be a fleck of light instead of stuck here in heat space. I feel that. May I? Show you what I look like. Wait, what? Uh -huh. hey, do you wanna like? Yes, very uh... much. Take me over the moon. Say if it's too much too soon. Alien perfect uh. oh. step on your head so you stay. I'm like thinking about the so ethical Ethical, I don't, I, I lost the word. I'm sorry, that just threw me the fuck off. What the fuck? <laughs> so, we hold confidential. Oh, Jesus. So, one main aspect through this, at least for Mary, is that he has just been, I guess, out of touch with the community for a long ass time. I mean, he's lived here for 10 years. He's never gone out on a date. He's never gone out to a club or he didn't know about the drag queen union, which I think honestly, most people probably didn't. It's, it's kind of sad, but uh, hey, you know what he does? He decides to take all the skills that he learned, earned and try to put it to use here to help the people that he has. Like takes a very Spider-Man approach with it. I keep making a lot of Spider-Man references lately. I don't know, but uh, essentially he goes to this whole thing right here 
here and finds out that apparently uh, his friend here, the, I want to I wanna say fake Bruce Wayne, but then again, oh no, oh no, Bruce Wayne kind of wishes. Uh, his boy here, his former boy decides to tell him about his, uh, well, one of his boys going missing, Patrick. And well, apparently this dude also knows that Mary is a spy because he spilled it while he was drunk one night, which kind of makes sense. Obviously, yeah, that, that, that would happen. Bond, he decides to ask him to find this missing Patrick. And meanwhile, over here, Deb and Pam are here talking to V because, well, last episode, they had to rescue Pam. Now they're trying to make sure that Pam can be trusted and they take her through a lot, including literally making her take a bl <sighs> I know this place is about secrecy and all, but goddamn. Honestly, you know what I hope happens at the end of this? That it takes almost like an Archer-esque turn and they establish Q forces just like an independent, like, PI type business. What's, what's that? What's the term? Risk management? Risk management? Seriously? But in the meantime, we're also see that V has a part or had a partner named Catherine that she didn't know about or rather forgot about, was forced to forget about because apparently some folks had fucked with her head. What the hell, why? Three, like what did Catherine find out that you had to try and get rid of her? But uh, meanwhile, also we get to meet up with Benji who meets up with his friend Anthony and uh, <laughs> Anthony is, well, clearly desperate down his luck and out here stealing silverware. Probably was glad they got upon that or something. It's a lot of homeless queer people and yeah that is a very huge thing goes on address homeless kids homeless people homeless kids being like kicked out on the streets when they after they come out and, and like not being able to hold hold the place down after that in businesses like turning them away for their work and it's just it's not fair it really isn't. And at the same time, Stat is over here watching this. I'm not even sure what to classify this is. This look. This looks like whatever the hell Warrior Not on Netflix is classified as. That's that's around where this is, minus the I guess cool ninja shit. Anyway, Mary comes to her to try and uh, try and figure out figure out a GPS lockout on this. Figure out where to find our boy Patrick. So he takes all this and he takes it to the sheriff. Who? Well, of course, the sheriff is a fucking cop and therefore automatically is. A bastard. A C A B. Yeah, they really don't give two fucks. And then this, this one line. I want to help, but there's not a lot I can do when your community preys on itself. Again, again, being black that hits a lot. That hits so much harder. Hmm. Mm, it's 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 that is that is just ugh. and then they do my dude dirty and steal it take his car away and have it towed and shit like i fully believe they do really literally make those things confusing on purpose just to just to charge the city because what are cops other than just debt collectors not even debt collectors they're just coin collectors they're they're tax collectors whatever the fuck but then to luca this chick shows up. Well, turns out that this person sucks, so we're just gonna move past that. What really matters is after this after this date with Benji, well, after this date with Anthony, um, homie just gets blown to smithereens, and apparently they were actually going after Mary too, and they can, they apparently they could have it tapped into one of those damn apps, and you know what? You know what? If if people if they really wanted to like track people down or like take them out, of course they would do it through one of the damn scooters. Honestly, I love those things that first i had a bird app on my phone too i would love to like take the thing downtown when i was in college college and i was like going to going to work things like that i'd like park across the bridge and then put on one of those ride over it'd just be a fun time but honestly a lot of people are fucking irresponsible with those things and leaving them in random ass places and breaking them and shit it's just and for real if you really did want to just track people down and take them out you probably would be able to just do it through that damn app and that's what all the pandering is it's to it's to get you there shit I, I say that jokingly, but honestly, I wouldn't be wouldn't be that surprised. But after figuring all this out, uh, Mary and Twink infiltrate this party. They manage to find what's happening here, because what's happening is they're they're taking advantage of basically a bunch of young want to, want to be under want to be actors. And I don't want to say want to be no young amateur actors who are basically just desperate for a role of some kind and throwing them into this cheap labor film because you know streaming is the thing. Thing nowadays it, you know it's a good commentary on just like how how all these big ass companies are just like making their own streaming apps like seriously i blame disney more than anything for this because their asses were literally just trying to kill netflix because they thought oh hey we have a huge ass backlog of content most of which we don't even have on the actual app 
All in all, the villains fuck up because they bring Mary's car here and he basically night riders this shit and basically runs through a bunch of cops. We love to see it. Especially this one. Screw him in particular for trying to kill him in the first place. The day seems saved and at the same time, Pam is over here walking on V's back to try and un untangle some memories and oh damn do we see some memories <laughs> this was this was her ride or die or literally riding shotgun with her turns out this shit if we wipe this deep v won't just forget her last mission with karen she'll forget karen entirely good some bullshit honestly like i always i already hated this motherfucker he already just screwed mary out of a position that he uh, literally already earned he literally screwed him out of the battle victorian ship he screwed him out of his fucking job for over a fucking decade literally made him waste a decade of his damn life and now you find out oh he also fucked with these memories too Ooh, the person that's been working alongside his ass this entire time and even enforced this Q force and now they found out about things that your ass probably wouldn't have I swear to God, I hope I hope they knock that J. Jonah Jameson looking ass motherfucker out so at some point. Jesus. As we also finish, uh, everything looks like it's all just going according to plan. And turns out though, uh, it's much worse. At least here, I got to use my degree from NYU. Yep, probably has a degree in film. Wait, do you work for Chaston? Likely. Thanks for all the boys. Yeah. Honestly, seriously. Yeah, unfortunately, he ended up just dragging all the all the sex the human humans that he trafficked back to Chaston. You know, I'm I'm actually really happy that the series is like tackling all these all these different subjects. This is stuff that often often like gets really overlooked. Like we talk about it a lot online, but like something that really to stick into the people's consciousness. I like that it's like done through like mediums like this. I like when people like take take advantage of things like this. Like I even I wrote a script like kind of like attacks like the human trafficking like a few years ago while I was in school and, and more than anything is to bring more awareness to it and also to to really try and do something about it like Mary is trying to do something about it you really want more you need more of that and I'm glad Mary's like trying to take all these skills that he has and do something with it something that'll very much help but then we then we get here to where things get really really weird so this is apparently what uh stats friend here looks like i now I, I gotta ask though why the darth maul makeup though i mean then again the horns is also a thing it, it, i mean and you know what why, why am i asking though hey do you wanna like yes yes, yes very much well, yes, this is an AI, and it, of course it can figure out a way to make itself feel pleasure in some way, but... Like, I'm honestly not sure if this if this is healthier than most relationships, or unhealthy. I mean, the AI can technically consent, and they're not really doing anything in particular, so... Yes. Okay, I wasn't trying to land in the spot, but... You know what? I'm overthinking this shit. Overall, great episode. Really loved it. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm glad to see you.